Hello dear students, I am Amit Jharola, subject matter expert at Gate Academy. Here I am uh, discussing the importance of geotechnical engineering in the Gate exam. If I talk about the importance of geotechnical engineering in civil engineering, then it is very important, very, very important subject. Why? Because all your structures are resting on the soil. You, you, if you are designing a very good structure, very economical structure, it may be lightweight, it may be heavyweight, all these structures are resting on the ground. Means the weight of the structure will be taken by your soil. So, even though if you design a very good structure, but if your soil which is present below the uh, your structure is not good, then your structure may collapse because of the large settlement of your structure. So that means we should we should understand what is happening in the soil. If a structure is constructed, what are the properties of the soil? What is the bearing capacity of the soil? How much load can be registered by the soil? Everything we should study in the geotechnical engineering. So from zero, uh, from civil engineering point of view, it is very important. Now come to the gate point of view. From the gate point of view, it is very important because it is the vast subject of civil engineering having the weightage in the gate exam nearly equal to 15 to 16 marks. Currently, currently from last 2-3 years, the weightage is from 15 to 16 marks. Before that also, the weightage was 12 to 15 marks. Okay. So, on an average, on an average, let me consider 15 marks is the average weightage for this subject. And according to my plan, my plan of teaching, I have total 8 subjects, uh, sorry, 8 chapters in this geotechnical engineering, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So in geotechnical engineering, I have total 8 chapters. So the importance of first to uh, first seven chapters or I can say the weightage of first seven chapters is for two marks. So two marks question shall be asked for from each chapter So two into seven total we have 14 marks. 14 marks we can score from this seven chapters and from last eight chapter we can score one mark. We can expect a one mark question from chapter number eight. So total 15 marks we can score only from geotechnical engineering means means if I talk about if I talk about the uh, uh, the total gate paper of 100 marks the 15 percent questions the 15 percent weightage or the 15 percent score you can you can take only from the geotechnical engineering so the highest weightage subject in civil engineering is your geotechnical engineering okay so one by one all the chapters i can discuss here means the basic information the introduction of the chapters i can give so here you can see i have total eight chapters the name of the chapters i have written here first chapter in geotechnical generally this is the pattern of my classroom course this is the pattern of my classroom course i deal only this chapter eight chapters in the chapter number one origin of soil, index properties, classification of soil and clay mineralogy. So this big four topics we will be covering in the chapter number one. If I talk about the chapter number two here permeability, effective stress, seepage analysis and well hydraulics these four topics we can cover here also. If I talk about chapter number one, in the chapter number one we, we will be learning about the basic or the important properties of the soil. Basic fundamental properties which are used to analyze the soil, which are used to classify the soil, which are used to understand the picture of the soil, we can discuss in the chapter number 1. So how the soil is originated, what are the important properties of the soil, fundamental properties of the soil and what are the other relationships between uh, fundamental properties. Based on those properties, how the soil is being classified and the clay minerals means the minerals present in the soil that also we can discuss in the chapter number 1. In the chapter number 2, we can have the permeability. If the water is flowing through the soil, what, is, what will happen? If the water is flowing through the soil, what will happen to the soil? The effect of permeability on the soil that we can discuss. 
how the permeability comes in the soil that we can discuss. What are the important factors which affect the permeability? It may increase, it may decrease that we can discuss. Effective stress is a very important topic. Um, um, every time we can see the uh, question from this particular topic. Cepagenesis is also very important, well hydraulics also important. Actually this well hydraulics can be, can be taught in the hydrology portion also. Hydrology irrigation portion also the well hydraulics can be taught. But because of my interest I am teaching in geotechnical engineering also. Okay. So, this is also very important. So, here if I talk about the weightage, the weightage of first chapter is 2 marks, here the weightage is 2 marks. So, till now 4 marks suppose we have covered. Then the chapter number 3 we have compressibility that is compaction and consolidation. These two big topics we have. Okay. Under the compaction if the air is present in the soil that shall be removed. Under the consolidation, if the excess pore water pressure is present, means water is present that can be drained out. Okay. So, here air can be removed, here water can be drained out. So, this process are compaction and consolidation respectively. If these processes are occurring, settlement of soil will occur. So, the importance of this chapter is also of two marks. This is also very important question. Every year you will find the question from this particular chapter. If I talk about the shear strength and shear stress distribution, again the importance is 2 marks. Here also I have two big topics, first is shear strength, second is shear stress distribution. Shear strength means, shear strength means the uh, capacity of the soil against the shearing. Because soil generally fails in shear, soil fails in shear, so because number of voids are present there. So, soil fails in shear, so we have to find out the shear capacity of the soil which is known as shear strength. So, number of tests are there, number of tests are there like uh, we can discuss about direct shear test, we can discuss about triaxial test, we can discuss about unconfined compression test, we can discuss about vane shear test and all other tests we can discuss. Under the triaxial test we have three cases, three cases means depending upon the drainage condition you can have unconsolidated undrained condition, you can have consolidation drain condition, you can have consolidation undrained condition, UU test, CD test, CU test. So, number of test here also we can discuss in this year strength, very important topic, very important topic, very interesting subject actually and very interesting chapter also. Then shear stress distribution means, sorry shear stress, vertical stress distribution, here it is vertical stress distribution. So, in the vertical stress distribution, if the additional load is applied, when a structure is constructed supports on the soil. So, because of this structure or because of the load of this structure, how the load is distributed, how the load is external load is distributed in the soil that we can learn in this chapter, in this topic vertical stress distribution. It is also very interesting. Chapter number 5, actually all the chapters are very important, all the chapters are very important having the weightage uh, of each chapter 2 marks. Chapter number 5, lateral earth pressure theories and stability analysis of slopes. Again I have two topics, the major topic is lateral earth pressure theory, every time question is uh, being asked from a few years. So, lateral earth pressure theories, there we can discuss about the active earth pressure, passive earth pressure, earth pressure at the rest in cohesion less soil, in cohesive soils, analysis of sheets, pile, so many things there we can discuss. Okay. So, this is the topic of lateral earth pressure theories. Now, chapter number 5, stability analysis of slopes, how we can discuss stability analysis of slope. So, here if the slopes are there in the mountain areas, in the hilly areas, you can see the slope in the soil. If the soil is resting on the inclined surface, if the soil is resting on the inclined surface, uh, this, the civil engineering structure is called slope. So, the analysis of slope, the design of slope is very important in the hilly areas. Okay. So, that we can discuss here in this particular chapter. The weightage is also 2 marks. Okay. Then we can have the chapter number 6, shallow foundation and bearing capacity. Again, it is very, very important everywhere 2 to 3 marks. 2 to 3 marks it quota is fixed from the chapter number 6. Okay. Actually up to the chapter number 5, 
चैप्टर नंबर वन चैप्टर नंबर टू चैप्टर नंबर थ्री फोर फाइव वी हैव सॉइल मैकेनिक्स वी हैव सॉइल मैकेनिक्स फ्रॉम द चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स वी हैव एक्चुअली फाउंडेशन इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स वी हैव फाउंडेशन इंजीनियरिंग सो हियर ऑल दो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्ट्रक्चरल डिजाइन ऑफ your footing we are not going to design structural going to learn the structural design of your footing we are going to estimate the bearing capacity of the soil which is present below the base of footing okay so that we can discuss here is very important topic question generally asked from this but chapter for two marks so important subject important chapter weightage is two marks then chapter number 7 pile foundation again it is very very important everywhere two marks quota is fixed fixed means fixed question shall be asked it is also the part of foundation engineering so after chapter number 5 means chapter number 6 7 8 we can have uh, uh, this three chapters from foundation engineering so it is also having the two marks weightage here we can discuss about the load carrying capacity of the pile how much maximum load is applied pile how the piles are provided in the group how the settlement is occurring of the pile group so many things so many things we can discuss in the chapter number 7 and then the weightage of chapter number 8 is for one mark okay so like that if you add total we are covering on an average on an average 15 marks so very important subject it is and very interesting subject it is the vast subject of civil engineering highest weightage subject in the gate exam clear okay this is a one thing second thing i have given this is the basic introduction this is the teaching flow this is the teaching flow the classroom program as i discuss and uh, what i am going to do now actually so i am going to provide i am going to provide the lectures video lectures at this gate academy global channel from the chapter number 2 chapter number 1 is the basic subject it's a basic chapter properties of soil x y z so many things are there we can discuss about the chapter number 1 also but right now right now after few days you can see we are going to discuss we are going to start the discussion for chapter number 2 so as i get time day by day i will upload the videos for this geotechnical engineering so the pattern of teaching the pattern of my a uh, teaching i have discussed in this lecture eight chapters will be there day by day you will be getting lectures uh, day by day you will getting the lectures for geotechnical engineering okay so after few days i can start my discussion from the chapter number 2 and the first topic definitely it will be your permeability and i am 101% sure you people will definitely enjoy okay so uh, i think i should stop this video now because so many things we have discussed this was a basic introduction video for geotechnical engineering so especially this channel we have uh, this channel actually we have uh, um, um, opened for the people who are not very much comfortable with hindi so for those students we are going to provide the lectures in english so my all the lectures uploaded at this channel will be in english language and uh, i am 101% sure you people will definitely enjoy if you remember one more one more uh, what i can say one more video i was uploading in the last few months okay so one video was uploaded actually i remember that was based on the introduction of a structural analysis and i promised uh, that i will provide some videos uh, for structural analysis also so wait for some time first i am going to start this geotechnical engineering then as i get time definitely i promise i promise i will provide the uh, videos on the structural analysis also at this gate academy global channel in english language okay so till that you keep learning enjoy and get the content day by day from me for geotechnical engineering thank you